Okay guys, first night here out in Korea in Seoul. to Starline's Gold Lounge, so I haven't been to this one, obviously, it's in Tokyo, so let's check it out. So here are the lounge sheets, so you can just hang out, watch some TV, grab some food, and then over here is a restaurant where you can order food and uh, they bring it to you. Uh, we just landed in Korea. Excited. We got, you know, two days uh, to spend in Seoul, so I'm really excited to check out Korea. Uh, let's see what it has to offer. Okay, we just got to Korea. We're in Seoul, the capital of Korea, uh, and my arch nemesis is right in front of me. Krispy Kreme. I'm not gonna do it though. But one thing you realize when you walk out, uh, compared to Japan and other Asian countries, really pop influence, like K-pop is everywhere, and skin beauty products, like there, I just saw like at least 15 skin product stores just in the airport. So, you know, my face is gonna be glowing after this trip, you know what I'm saying? Uh, airport Express train ticket, it takes you straight uh, to Seoul, station which is where we're staying so highly recommend staying there because you can get there direct from the airport and it costs for two people uh, 17 dollars so pretty good deal one thing you notice about korea it's different from other asian countries even uh, japan is the architecture like even the airport's beautiful like, the architecture is very unique it's it's modern it's new it's open it's cool so Looking forward to seeing some cool stuff in uh, Seoul. Okay guys, first night here out in Korea in Seoul and we're, we're gonna take some, uh, we're gonna take a cab. <laughs> it's a beautiful night tonight. Okay, so we're in Itaewon, so it's a really busy tourist area. And there's like a full street that just Muslims and, and Pakistanis and Arabs and, and we found a cool halal. Uh, Korean food specializing and really excited to try it so okay so we got the kimchi stew with some tuna inside oh yeah kimchi and the, and the beef right here look at that okay this is the kimchi sauce with tuna it smells so good it looks so spicy jintai jintai I'm gonna put that right on the sauce just put it on the rice, get some rice with it. Oh. Huh? <laughs> it's not that spicy, but it's good. And then here's the chicken. It's glazed, it looks really good. This looks so good. Look at that, sesame seeds on the top. Mm. Put that in with some rice. Okay, so we just finished dinner. It was amazing. Korean food is awesome. Uh, we're just walking around Itaewon, 
you know, there's a lot of open stuff and people just hanging around. Cool streets. Uh, yeah, I like it. It's a little, it's more chilly than Japan. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep walking around. See if I can find any dessert or extra food. There's more immigrants uh, in Korea so far. Way more. Who, yeah, way more immigrants. A little bit more diverse. I like that. Uh, it's good, it's good. Yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm down for diversity, guys. Uh, yeah, so we're just walking around. It's, it's fun, it's crazy. And it's nice. 24 hour Taco Bell. Nah, because, I don't like Taco Bell. No, because there's a lot more immigrants that speak a lot more English here. Yeah, they, well, they speak way more English. English is everywhere. It's so helpful, especially when you're just oh. trying to get around. They're into hip hop here? I thought it was gonna be K pop. <laughs> alright, alright, let's go, let's go. Walking down the main strip here in Itawan, and something you notice clearly is that compared to Japan, is that you can haggle here. Uh, so don't ever pay full price for anything you find on the street or whatever. It's kind of like Thailand ish meets Japan with a little bit of an American culture influence with the pop and uh, music and I don't know it's a, it's a cool it's a cool country I thought it was gonna be more like Japan but it's not <laughs> no, it's, it's so it's it's, it's own uh, it's its own world and it's way more diverse like it's way not so Sada's going into the first cosmetic store and trust me this will not be the last so let's check it out Korean cosmetics Okay, we just finished our first uh, Korean facial mask store. I don't know what they're called here, but the beauty stores here are everywhere. And they're cheap. A dollar for a mask. It's actually, it's way cheaper than Japan. Oh yeah. Way, it's way it's cheaper. Way cheaper. So, if you gotta choose and you don't got money, come to Korea. It's cheap. So we just took a quick cab, and cabs are really cheap. Uh, so I do recommend taking cabs if you don't feel like taking the subway, especially after Japan. Uh, so we're at Hondik University. Hondix, I don't know how to say it. But uh, this is where the young people, the hipsters, all the you know young students come to chill at night. And there's a lot of cafes and there's a lot of shopping to do. So we're just gonna check out this area uh, and see what we can find. More beauty products, etc. Gonna get a pie waffle for sure. I'm so excited. It's a dollar. This is cheap, man. Let's go. Pie waffle. So, I'm so excited for this pie waffle. There's a lot of street vendors here. It's kind of closing up. It came a bit late, but everybody's still around. Uh, and you just, anywhere you go, you just hear K-pop right in the middle of the street, like, music is everywhere. Okay, so this is the, the pie waffle, it's literally ice less than waffle. ice cream waffle. Yeah. It's called pie, pie ice, whatever. It's <laughs> less than a dollar, and it has all these colors of ice cream. Oh, wow. I eat mean, that every day for a dollar. It's so she made a fresh waffle. She didn't take no ego or anything. She made a waffle for a dollar. Well, I should give her another dollar. <laughs> this place is crazy, man. Is this how students live in Korea? I wish I was a student in Korea. What the hell? I'm just finishing up this waffle ice cream. Sada and I just walking around. Everything, every other store is a beauty store. Literally, here, there's another A2 out here. Another one. There's just nuts how they're into the beauty products and the K pop, and the, it's just busy. Uh, I have to admit, this place is cooler than I thought. Everyone's a student here, uh, but really cheap clothing and very good quality. So, if you're looking to buy some new shirts, new sweaters, pants, whatever. And if you can fit in it, I can't fit in any of this Asian stuff. I don't even ask anymore, I just keep walking. 
Come try it out. It's really cheap and uh, it's really fun. Music everywhere, everybody giggling, laughing. A huge difference from Japan is uh, a lot of PDA and uh, a lot of boyfriends, girlfriends. And in Japan, you don't see anybody holding each other's hands or no PDA in public. So it's pretty different. Very, very modern and laid back. <laughs> Yo, this place is lit. There's like so many kids and there's, yeah, you, you can do anything here. So if you're young, you're, at, you're in school and you're traveling, Korea is a pretty fun place. Um, yeah, anyways, I think we're about to call it a night. We had some food. What's up? I know, it's like, I don't know, everyone's like starting their night and we're like, let's just go home and sleep. Gotta wake traveling. up! Oh, I know, I know. Man. We took like two flights the past like two days. We've taken two or three flights, so 